Let's get started, shall we? Welcome to the stream, everybody. My name is Green Leader, and tonight we are continuing on with some Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, yeah, so last night we finished up pretty much all the available uh, Stranger missions, and we did a couple of these smaller uh, story missions. Particularly, we were able to get Jack back um, by dealing with some grave robbers, grave robbers in Saint Denis for the guy who was holding Jack. And then uh, we also was able to help Tilly with an issue because she had been kidnapped, and we were able to go and save her and deal with the jackasses who were holding her captive. So. We did that. We really didn't do much, though, more in terms of story. I think we ended the night with uh, Arthur visiting his old flame, um, Mary, and that was, uh, I think that was just where we ended it. So, we're going to continue tonight and see how far we get, and uh, we'll just take it from there. But hope you guys are all having a wonderful night, and uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Hey, Gabe Jadlin, how you doing, man? What you been up to? How is your night going? Hope you're doing well. And I'm just gonna let this finish setting up, and then we shall move everything over. I've been watching the new bot podcast, uh, the first public interview of Doctor Collar. Was that the? Was that? I assume that was the thing that you had posted in the uh, in the Discord, right? That, it looks pretty interesting. I probably want to go and check it out. Home. Keller. Same name. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out. Yeah, no, I, I've checked it. I'm, I'm not going to watch it right this second, but yeah, yeah. I'll definitely go check it out. Yeah, I, I saw it. We've been watching, actually, a, an interesting show on Netflix called uh, Ancient Apocalypse, and it's about this guy who's talking about... Uh, uh, different ancient civilizations, and he's trying to look for a, essentially a precursor civilization before the Sumerians because of the whole Goblia Geki, Goblia Tepe, or something, whatever it's called, and then a bunch of these other different, really ancient uh, structures that have been found even after Goblia Tepe. Tepe? Tepe? I don't know how to say it. It's 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 a word. It's a word that I don't quite understand, but it's, but it's just an ancient structure in uh, Turkey so yeah. he's a scientist that was in charge of all these programs and it's the most sensible take uh, when you hear him talk about I assume you're talking about the UFO scientist right dr. Keller yeah no it sounds it sounds like an interesting podcast I'll have to, I, I will definitely have to check it out hey, we are here we are in st. Denis and I think we've essentially finished up all the stranger missions that are available to us, so we are going to go ahead and start working on story missions now. Yeah, I saw that. I did see that in the Discord, yeah. I just, I, I was just in the middle, unfortunately, of uh, getting the stream set up, so I couldn't respond to that, but yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that actually scientists can't either can't properly reproduce or there's there's stuff that they just can't really publish a paper on so they just kind of have to work with those theories and just keep trying to test stuff until they can you know let me quickly take a look and see what missions we got going for us so we really have nothing going on in uh uh in saint denis i think we might actually i might actually go to the stables just to see if i can't uh See if I can't uh, give the horse a little, a little, a little treatment. Why are you playing like that? Chances really are the government doesn't know what's going on. Uh, they saw it but can't reproduce it. So, what do they tell people? No, I, I can absolutely see that. He's auto saving already. Nice. It's more likely that the government uh, having secret uh, space treaties. We don't know. <laughs> So, we do not know. Uh, at this point, really, in my mind, anything is possible at this point. So, we don't know. Howdy, partner. Howdy, new, new. 
How you doing tonight? Hope you are doing mighty fine. Can anybody show me some kindness? Nope. Uh, we're just going to go to services. We're going to do a horse care package. Take care of my nice horse. And then we are going to go ahead and head out from here. So let me see what horses they have here. They have a, a racehorse, a standard, and an elite. Fancy and expensive. It's an Arabian. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, as of right now, we're just gonna gonna do that. But hey, I hope you're having a good. How about no? I hope you're having a fine night, Nunu. How you doing, man? Am I going the right way? I'm probably not going the right way. Anything is possible, but it's nice to hear the guy in charge of this program, and at least he's sensible about it. Uh, you gotta send some crazy, uh, beyond the pale, uh, white horse nonsense, which would have discredited him. Yeah. Very true. Very, very true. Long Project Blue Book, uh, and behold, and behold, the pale white horse people have been speculating that uh, that was about it. Could have been uh, schizophrenia related. Eh, maybe I don't know. I'm to be honest, I'm not even that familiar with that. Uh, beyond the pale white horse people, I'm not even sure what that actually is. So I don't know. On the right, no, come on, not the social club. The map, map, the map, the map, the map, the map. Yes, that is the correct way to go. Wondering why I was here. I have the wrong headphones in. I have it in backwards. There we go. <sighs> Fine, we'll talk to Uncle. Oh no, he wants to go cattle wrestling. What do you want? Well, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well. Have you ever been shot at by a cow? Who's cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. No, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you... 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, hmm. huh? I've not seen this one. Come on. <laughs> the Project Blue Book was a government project uh, that followed the Roswell incident. It was the government's answer to the, to the crash, a big investigation uh, by the best scientist we had at the time, and the head scientist was Dr. Alan J. Uh, Hynek. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with that at all. Where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. 
just past the road's turn off. Yeah. Oh gosh, horse, you're supposed to follow. About this place. I've been hanging around the saloon and roads a bit. Roads? Yeah, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around roads? Mm -hmm. After everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> mm. And my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Mm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, yep. I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna see out my We're gonna days. Cut up this way. Well, yeah, that's I'll not the case. It when I see it. Uh, so in the beginning, Dr. Hynek uh, claims swamp gas. Oh, I've heard that ex uh, excuse before. I didn't realize that was related to that. Okay. Uh, he would find the most insane, ridiculous excuses, which was an insult to the people who saw whatever they saw. Got so bad to the point where they wanted to label those who saw it insane and have them put into the mental, mental house. Uh, but later in his life, Dr. Hynek confessed that the feds were behind all the swamp gas and sanity crap. Uh, he then came out and said that he believed those people and that something was strange. Well, yeah, sure, something was strange, for sure. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Do you really? Hurry. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. Yep. I ain't so sure now. Christ. Damn. I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with... You are gonna wake him up. Oh, oh. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, this here is a rusty padlock. Hurry up. You do it, you... Turn around. Shit. And put your hands up in the air. What are you doing, boys? Nothing. You know, we kill rustlers around these parts. Well, now, just wait. I'll give you till the count of five to get the hell out of here. One... Two, let's go. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Ha! Ha! Oh. That was loud. Yeah, well, we yep. ain't got time. 
You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Keep moving! Uh, but then late, late in his life, he wrote a book called Beyond the Pale White Horse, in which he claimed the government had secret bases on the moon, and that the Nazis reached the moon, and alien uh, space treaties in this book had lots of speculation, because nah, because how come one of the best scientists out there come up with that? Uh, that speculate he went insane, yeah. Yeah, funny swamp gas was invented by Dr. Hynek as an excuse. Yep. So where the hell are we taking them? Ah. These stupid animals ain't going where we want them to. <laughs> oh, no. Dr. Heineck didn't write that book, uh, he would be one of the most compelling pieces of evidence to this strange phenomenon. Uh, but because he wrote the book, he's dismissed as another. I mean, it sounds like he might be, but I mean, what if he's not? I mean, we don't know. We actually don't know, and the, the biggest problem right now is that there's very little that can be done to actually verify that, right? Now, I think he's probably wrong on a lot of it, but I mean, we, we don't know. I mean, at this point, it, it sounds like he's already changed the tune multiple times. So, I mean, re regardless of, uh, you know, what happened, I mean, he's not going to be a good source anyway, so. Uh, which makes the subject, subject so interesting, the unknown. If we knew this wouldn't be... If we knew, this wouldn't be a conversation. Yeah, true. Very true. Cal, get back in the, with the herd, please. Come on. There you go. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Get in there. No, oh, what what are you doing? Oh. What? What? Oh, whatever game. The brothers were scared away. Oh, come on. What a little bullshit. The cows were stuck. They weren't moving. It's fucking annoying. Hey, get back in there, cow. Move it. Uh, also, new footage has been made public. Well, really? Today, uh, to some Senate committee, it's been made public. Of course, that could also just be, uh, that could also be done as a means to, uh, What's the word? Distract us from all sorts of shit that's going on right now, so I don't know. I always wonder about the timing of that, right? Whenever new footage comes out. Cow. Cow. 
Get your ass back in there. Right now. Right now. Iraq footage of the strange... Really? Interesting. Well, howdy, boys. Problem is they refuse to release the, the Baghdad orb footage. What is the Baghdad orb footage? How do we know that's even a thing? Oh, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Who's cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> this is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. <sighs> 100. And I don't shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. And I'm gonna be a good time to actually do some hunting. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. You're welcome, you old coot. Okay, uh, the Claire's video evidence in existence. I've seen stills of the clip. I mean, stills might look good. It's when it's in motion. So, yeah. It's the footage from the 2006 in Baghdad. Super clear as day. The military and private con contractors use this footage in training. Yet the Pentagon refuses to release it publicly. Interesting. Well, let's quickly uh let's quickly do a little bit of hunting. Because I would certainly like to have uh, some more meat in my. Yeah. In my pack. Whoa. So, here we go. For white tailed deer, and I don't really care about the quality, I'm just trying to. Trying to get some meat. So the speculation was today, uh, the committee was going to release the Baghdad footage, uh, but we got something totally else from Iraq, but not related at all. Oh, interesting. Actually, no, 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 no. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Okay, so that now gets a skin and I think two or three. Yeah, one poor pelt. Four mature mi venison. Very nice. So that, and then I want to see if we can't get some more. Yep. Still an orb of some sort, it seems. It's like it's flying about. I'm suspicious as the civilians on the ground jump away from it as it passes by, leading me to think it's some sort of uh, fast ground drone, not flying. Ah, oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen that at all. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, there's a deer. There is a deer. Two star. Kind of nice to get a three star and then we take it back to camp. But that's not really going to be worthwhile for me in terms of. There we go. I'll post in Discord if it's declassified. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, particularly if it's declassified, yes, please. That's it. If you focus on the civilians on the ground, you can see them react and jump away from it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch it out the stream. Which one wouldn't do if it's flying? Yes, true. Absolutely. Okay. Um, let's set up camp somewhere. And then we'll go ahead and... Make some food. Do we might even... Okay. Yeah, on a couple of hunting trips quickly. Uh, don't have mint. Don't have oregano. Don't have thyme. Lovely. So I'm just going to have to make some plain for right now. I'm reading the first one because why not? It'd be good for him to eat. And then we will cook the next four. Storm, and we'll have to see if there's any other. Like, herbs that we can use, like thyme or oregano, sage, anything like that. Looks like I cannot cook anymore, so we are going to go ahead and leave. And go do some more hunting. The nice thing about this is that the camp will actually stay here. Unless I travel, like, really far away. Come on, pal. Uh, but it's clear the civilians don't know what it is either, as one, uh, as one is running away, and the other seems to be jumping in protection... in protecting another dude. Oh, really? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, good. There's some herbs yep. right here. Looks like we got some yarrow, which I can't pick. But there's also some stuff over here, which I think... Some tobacco. Very nice. Ah, uh, oregano. Very nice. Very nice. That's what I'm looking for. Also, oregano is very tasty. Got some more stuff over here. What do we have? We have some hummingbird sage. Okay. Has there been any other, any other, like, declassified stuff? Or is it just all... Like, I feel like this is, this is the first thing I've heard since, um... Uh, what's it called? 
So it's that other, like, uh, uh, the Navy releasing those, um, that footage uh, of, of the, the Navy pilots, like, freaking out at these uh, flying objects and whatnot. And then, like, they look at that, it's going from, you know, the ocean up to the sky and, like, super quick and, like, how are they doing that? I remember that was, that was a couple years ago and, like, people were, like, freaking out about it. If that was a flying, it would be like three feet tops. Oh, really? Wow. I mean, hell, it, it might just be like some sort of experimental drone with, uh, you know, something that messes with the light of any sort of, you know, camera that might be trying to record it. So it's like it's a it's an attempt at like stealth. Uh, you know, if that makes sense. Is that? Oh, that looks like the thing. Can I? Nope. I can pick it up, but I don't necessarily want to. Right? Oh, unknown animal. Interesting. There's been a photo released uh, from the Navy, which was taken by an iPhone. Which is actually clear, but you can't make it out. But it looks like a metallic uh, tic tac. <laughs> really? That's interesting. The hell is this? Oh, it's just a raccoon? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, man. He just destroyed that thing. I'm going to look at the information. Hold on. Um... Oh, that's right, the mentality. When the pilots manage to snap one while flying, which is insane. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, the stills from the Baghdad orb footage are... Uh, footage, not gonna lie, looks like a balloon. Uh, but again, metallic in color. Interesting. Hmm. But, I mean, I've seen metallic balloons, right? You know, I've, I've seen balloons that could have that look, so... No info. What do we use? A varmint rifle for a clean kill, which I don't think I actually have. I don't realize I had candies on them. Well, let's pick this one up and actually store it on the horse. What I was trying to find was like another deer, which I see a couple right there. <clears throat> Have you heard of the Foo Fighters? Are you talking about the band? Yes, yes, of course I've heard of the Foo Fighters. In fact, I've... So like, I've recently been... trying to learn the guitar, and I've been trying to learn a bunch of their songs. Well, like three or four of them, so... Yes, I have heard, I have definitely heard of Foo Fighters. But why do you ask about the Foo Fighters? Yes, uh, there's a band too. There is a band too. Okay, so wait a minute. So, a, a, a group known as the Foo Fighters that is not the band. I'm not familiar with the not the band. Familiar with the band. I'm not familiar with, uh... Uh, but that isn't the original Foo Fighter. Really? Okay. Uh, look at the Foo Fighters World War II. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on, Arthur. That is not what we were wanting.
One star, which... Yes, please. Oh. All the way down there? Come on. The hell? Let me go! Oh, you think you can run off on me? I ain't your goddamn property! And this is a private matter. It don't involve you none. Hey, let that woman go! Damn, you stay out where you don't belong! Oh, you little ah! shit. Tad is dumbass. Get me off this thing, you freak. It's man, I'm coming. Um hold on one second. Thank you for asking. Uh no links are not initially allowed. But they are now you now have like 60 seconds. There you go. Come on, lift me down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm sorry. Trying to let her go. Don't know how many times I tried to leave that crazy bastard, but he always came after me. I'm glad he's dead. Not exactly a happy union, I take it. Well, have a nice day, I suppose. Bye. Goddamn hillbillies. Well, you owe me one. Get out of here. Die. Damn dirty idiot. Moron. Let's go, boy. Well, let's take a look at the Foo Fighter. The Foo Fighter. Uh, the term Foo Fighter was used by Allied aircraft pilots during World War II to describe various UFOs or mysterious... Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Did not know that. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. No, that's interesting to know. Did not know that was a thing, but that's kind of cool. He's still just running around up there, that's funny. Yeah, when I first heard about it, I was like, what? Yep. Yeah. I would have said the same thing. Ooh, we got some boar. We got some boar. Here we go. Um, I think for boar, we need a rifle. Let's put Springfield. Apparently, it was very common for World War II pilots to have these light orbs fall on their plane. Really? Very interesting. Good poor belt. Nice. Tenderloins. Very nice. And a boar tusk. Very cool. Head back to camp. Hook it up. And then we'll head off.
Also, I might make some small game arrows as well. Um, we'll make some oregano pork. Thank you very much. Originally, it was assumed to be experimental aircraft from the enemy, but as time went on, the relation set in that both the Nazis and the Soviets were experiencing the same thing. Really? That's interesting. Yeah, that's kind of crazy to think about, right? Just the idea that, uh, you know... Both, both sides of the war back then were experiencing that. And apparently pilots regularly experience that as well, so, I mean, even today. Yeah, there's certainly a lot to be explained that we don't understand. I mean, there's a lot of ancient stuff that we don't understand, right? Like, like Gobekli, Tepe, whatever it's called, like, they were talking about uh, the show that we were watching was talking about how uh, one of the stones, they actually realized that uh, it was in fact a, uh, a a star map where it's like they had the vulture and they had Scorpio and they had a bunch of different animals and they realized that those actually mapped to the known constellations. And then they had this uh, couple of other information on there that they realized was like, indicative of a date uh, because a certain constellation was like right at sunrise uh, or right at Gobekli Tepe. Yes, that is it. Yes, the ancient apocalypse. Very good. I watched. Yes. No. Yeah. My parents are, are watching it as we speak and they're like, this is this is very cool. Very interesting. And there's yeah, I agree. There's some very, very cool things. Uh, very cool information that is out there and available and uh yeah, uh, we, we need to understand that there's so much stuff, so. They carved the constellation out of the rock, not into... Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. Over... I think that, yeah, he was saying it was like 11,000 years ago or something like that, from what I remember him saying. But yeah, it's very, very interesting stuff, for sure. Okay, and then we're gonna sleep. And then we're gonna go sell a bunch of stuff, and then we'll go and take back some food to camp as well, and then we'll uh, get back to actually the story. So, you know, usually you carve into the rock, they carve the rock away, uh, such that the depiction was sticking out of the rock, uh, to do that today, you would need modern drilling. Yes, I know, I was, that's, that's the interesting thing, right, is that they, the way it's done, it's, it's actually, they clearly had some sort of, uh, what's the word? They clearly, they clearly had some sort of actual, like, stone cutting equipment which is generally like bronze and iron age type of equipment it's not stone age equipment so clearly they were a little bit more advanced than what than what even we we were thinking and where the, what hold on where the apparently my badger's gone for whatever reason Yeah, and you can't date rock. Yep, 100%. You cannot date, date back rock. So, I mean, it could technically be older. But I, they were saying, though, that they did. Like, in that Ancient Apocalypse show, uh, they were saying that they did, in fact, carbon date the stuff around the area. And, and it dates to approximately uh, 11,000 years ago. The way they did it, the pyramids is by taking wood from the surrounding area. That's not, and but that's not right. Are you out of your mind? It's all right. 
Change my mind. All right, then. Waste of time. Yeah. I would like to sell some stuff if you wouldn't mind. In particular, that. You all better pay. That. Oh, shut your damn face. Done. Much appreciated. Biden's my load. Uh, by that long, shouldn't they be able to date when the Sphinx was built? Uh, wouldn't it be the same period as the pyramids due to the woodling, right? I, but I mean, I wonder, like, what do you mean by the woodling around? Because it could be the fact that they were talking about, like, you know, actual wood that they found inside the pyramids. That would make more sense. I don't think it's just random wood laying around, right? But yeah, you're right. Why haven't they dated the Sphinx? We don't know. You know, there, there's certainly some unanswered questions there, for sure. Oh gosh, sorry, sorry horse, sorry horse, you're alright, you're alright. Little camp over here, let's, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's only a one star. Yeah, but actual wood inside the pyramid couldn't have been left by anyone. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. Hold on. No bad blood. <clears throat> there's more than 40 years of bad blood between you and us. Maybe more. What are we gonna do with him? Leave him alone, for now. He's worth more when he's breathing. You're a disgrace to Lemoyne, a lot of you. They're coming for the prison! How you like coming up against the Raiders? Why are you talking like that? Jackass. Oh shit, did you die? What kind of sorry business was this? Ah, damn it. Damn it, I was trying to save the asshole. My gosh. Some grave robber 3,000 years ago could have dropped something. Yeah, that's true. That is also true. You're not wrong there. Most fascinating thing about the ancient apocalypse is the uh, ancient pyramid in Indonesia, which the Indonesian government claims to be over 70,000 years old, which is mind boggling. That is mind boggling. What's also mind-boggling is that they are willing to claim that, right? Because how how would they know that? You know how could how could they possibly actually claim that? The evidence they shows they show off is incredible. Really. That's very interesting. No, no, no. This is the one thing about looting in this game. You have to be essentially in first-person mode for you to properly loot in this game, which is a little weird.
Keep in mind, the Indonesian government is Islamic, so kind of interesting to see them say this as well. And that's true, right? That's also very true. I didn't even think of that. I know, I know certain, uh, certain groups in the Middle East have been known to uh, destroy ancient, ancient structures and artifacts in the Middle East. For whatever reason. I think largely because they, they don't want it disproving Islam or whatnot or something like that. There's evidence to suggest that Indonesia hosted most of the world's population around 70k years ago. Again, we don't have... We don't even know stuff from 10,000 years ago. How do we know about 70k? You know? You sure it's not 7,000 years ago? That, that would make a little more sense. That's 70,000? Actually, I think I do need to double check that this is actually clean. Yep, there we go. Well, Asian Islamic countries are actually very open to other ideas, unlike the Middle Eastern counterparts. Very interesting, actually. Which, that's cool, actually. That's very cool. Warn why Gosh. why do I have a Warren Schofield in my secondary? Shit. Uh yeah, Graham and the Indonesian agricultural guy both claimed it was 70k based on basalt volcanic rocks. Really? Very interesting. Yeah, that is that is a little a little weird. Cool, but I mean weird, to say the least. Yeah, you need to be cleaned. And how it's buried, uh, you'll watch the episode and you'll see. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I still need to actually watch most of that show, because I have not seen... I've not seen all of it. My parents... My mom, in particular, has been really enjoying it. And so she's been, like, just kind of digging into that show quite a bit. Whereas... I... I... I have been enjoying it, but I have been not, like, paying attention half the time, because I'm also, like... I don't have that much time to hang out and watch shows with them, you know? Please be a three star. It is in fact a two star, which is not what I'm wanting. That is what I'm looking for. Also, that's kind of cool. That was a clean kill. It's a one star. And you know what? I don't mind just leaving it. Uh, they measure the dirt. Uh, it's being buried in because that pyramid in Indonesia is completely buried under the mountain. And on top of the mountain, you see the pillars standing out, uh, out of the ground, penetrating 
radar reveal the entire mountain underneath it is covered uh, a, a similar situation to how Gubliotechi was covered under the ground. Really very interesting. That's super cool. Oh, that's awesome. See, and I love these sorts of things. We don't actually know enough about our own history. We don't know enough about the oceans. We don't know enough about space. I mean, there's there's so much information that we're just lacking. And it would be kind of cool if, you know, we could actually, you know, study this stuff properly. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this back to camp. And I do want to go and see if uh, tracks should still be around here. Yeah, I was actually saying to this to my folks, like, at this point, with the amount of stuff that we're actually finding underneath that's just, like, buried, like, it, it seems like we should, in fact, as a, as the human race, you know, we should actually be trying to figure out and, like, doing a whole bunch of, like, deep radar scanning of, like, everywhere. In the United States, Europe, everywhere. And how much stuff would we find just by, you know, just by doing these deep radar scans, you know? There's so much crazy things to find. Well, if I was Graham, I was so curious watching that episode because uh, the first thing I would have asked, well, doesn't this contradict your religious beliefs? Yeah. But I mean, considering just how how much they are, uh, you know, how much they are willing to uh, discuss it, I wouldn't be trying to like have some sort of theological discussion with them and trying to disprove them and just be like, "Cool, thanks for showing me this," you know? Because I think the more the more uh, oh, what's the word? The more confrontational he is, like I'm sure the. If he was going to be confrontational like that, like I'm sure that was gonna that would cause problems and make it harder for him to actually do his job, you know. So. Come take a look at this guy. hey, Mister, remember me? Come on over. Not really, but how you do? Doing good. What y'all doing today? Hey, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really Damn. something. Yeah, oh, you know, I know you. You're today. the guy that talked that showed me the your uh, Indian tobacco. Very zip. cool. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. Well, thank you. Take care now. You too. Yeah, ginseng is a health herb. It can be eaten to refill go. health core or crafted into a health cure. Very nice. TBF, which I'm not actually sure what that means. Uh, Indonesia did take a step backwards this year. They passed legislation, prison punishment for premarital sex, which I was like, come on, y'all have a good tracker. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's just one of those things, you know, we're, yeah, they, they do well when it comes to one thing, but then they take a step back when it comes to others, you know. So essentially, just be happy that you're not in that sort of, uh, you know, area. It's just a one star. I don't care about that. It's actually kind of irritating. I thought I had. I thought I would have found that other that three star raccoon because it, it ran this way. Keep in mind that only applies to the Muslim population if you're of another religion that rule doesn't apply. Really? Now that's interesting. 
essentially a compelled religious following. If you are of that religion, then you must follow the rules of said religion by law. That's a little, that's a little crazy. I mean, I suppose I get it, right? But I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's just, that's just weird. Well, let's at least head back to camp, donate the, oh gosh. Donate what I got in the meantime. I thought I'd be able to get that three-star raccoon, but I was wrong. The thunderstorms in this game are actually really cool. Eastern wild turkey. Well, that's a three-star. Uh, Varmint Rifle for a clean kill, so I assume that I could, in fact, use this with the small, the small game. Damn it! I thought the small game would work on it! Come on! Fine, I gotta get a varmint rifle, I suppose. Well, I can still go donate this to food. Hey there, boy. Okay, let's head back to camp. See if this is my three star raccoon or not. No, it's another Eastern Wild Turkey. But I already have one, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna head back. Yeah, same with alcohol. Did you know that uh, in most Middle Eastern countries, alcohol is banned? Yes. Kind of. Um, they don't import, produce. The, the government has a special agency to import alcohol like wine or... Oh my gosh! Nearly run into that. Uh, like wine for the non-Muslim population like the Jewish people in Iran drink. Um, alcohol, they are allowed, but they buy it from the government directly, but everyone else is not allowed. Interesting. I did not know that. Also, I was not aware that Iran was known for, uh, uh, hosting a lot of the, the Jewish populace there. I was under the impression they weren't very friendly. They weren't on friendly terms with Israel, so. God damn it. Drunk horse. Mm. Couldn't pay no attention. You there? Yeah. Did you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? Nope. Sorry. Take care of your own mess. Yep. A world full of nice people, and I meet all the <clears throat> assholes. Boss gonna be sore on this tomorrow. <laughs> Jackass man. Iran has the second biggest Jewish population in the Middle East, following Israel. Obviously, really, I, I don't. How was that obvious? I did not know that. Did not know that at all. 
He was at Saudi Arabia, I might believe it, but I didn't know. I didn't know Iran had uh, any sort of uh, Jewish population going on there. It's interesting. Or though the obvious thing is, you know, besides Israel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. But... Well, I'm saying it's obvious because it, yeah, yeah, Israel is first place. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I finally picked up what you're, what you're laying down. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Howdy, mister. Hey there, partner. Something's more of a hobby for you, huh? Kinda. This'll do me just fine. Why do you have a yeah, bull? How are you doing? It's an ox. Never mind. I take it back. Angus ox. That's cool. Hmm. Saudi Arabia didn't allow Jews into the country until 2019. Really? I just know that makes sense. That does make sense. I remember that. De yeah, exactly. I remember the deal that Trump put in place. But I remember it was also like Israel had to like completely avoid their airspace as well, if I remember correctly. It's me, John. Horse, um, what the hell am I looking at here? The hell are you doing up there, horse? Get back down on the ground like you're supposed to. Standing with your ass up in the air like that. What the hell? Yeah, Israel had to avoid most of the Middle Eastern airspace. Yep. That is true. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. I just did. Very good. We were getting low. Thank you, Arthur. You are welcome. All right, let's go talk to Hosea. Hey there, Jose. Maybe I do. How you doing, bud? Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vanderlind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, mm -hmm. that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm already all dressed up. Hell. Jackass. Uh, like we always hear Iran as a boogeyman, and in my opinion, the people in charge are evil folk, but uh, the, we've been told some things about the country that is not true, sure. Ridiculous. Utterly. I ain't never been yeah, to a no, I, I agree with that. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. I mean, it's like the whole situation with Russia. The Russian no, no, government no, is a piece no, of shit. The not. people are not we the are problem, here to you know? Make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. All Follow right, me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. 
Well, say, Phil, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gunka? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Right. Yeah, given the fact that Sirius uh, was Persian and he practically uh, funded the rebuilding of the Temple of Solomon. True, but the Persians were not the same uh, sort of ideology as the Islamists that are currently in power in Iran. But I, I, I get what you're saying. Iran is not bad, it's run by evil people though. No, exactly. As is most countries in the world, unfortunately. Ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bronte is annoying. He is. Hate me. And it's hilarious that he calls them vulgar, but he is the most vulgar of all of them. It has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. Yeah, but before he's, you go, he's an what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah. Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If you hmm. kindly follow So he's essentially the mafia boss of Saint Denis. And therefore, he is kind of the uh, asshole who thinks he's in charge. Which, it sounds like he's got the mayor in his pocket. He's got everyone except for the newspaper man. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening. Which is also a bit of a joke because generally the journalists are also in the pockets of the mafia and politicians and whatnot. But anyway. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. But yeah, Bronte is the guy who's sort of in charge and uh, he's the biggest asshole out there. So. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall was his name. Milton knows we're here. Milton, you will. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A small one. Sure. Just 
Bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. No, I don't quite that much of a Philistine. Besides which, the seal of champagne. Featherstone Chambers. To be a Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly, not from this swampy hell. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you. <laughs> You're gonna love this particular story arc? Yeah, I know. It, although it's, it, it gets, it's depressing, to be honest. Because, I mean, this is when, like, shit really starts hitting the fan. You know? And in particular, like, this is, like, really the downfall of Dutch at this point. Just had some mushroom masala for dinner. Very ooh, that sounds amazing. That sounds really good. I love a good chicken, chicken masala. The downfall of Bronte is moi. Yeah. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me cool off? Off me. Building a city on a swamp, bad idea, you know? Unfortunately, there are tons of cities that have done that, right? Sit down. I mean, hell, look at DC. DC is literally built in a swamp. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Cornwall. He shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. I know. Yeah, I know about that. Dems wanting uh, statehood for DC, but it doesn't make any sense. Also, if if that land gets removed from statehood, you know, removed from a federal district, it needs to go back to Maryland. That's where that land has to go. So, yeah, and then they'd have to create a new federal district. It's, yeah, I don't know. I know, I know. It's essentially a power grab to try and get two more Democratic senators in the Senate. So, yeah. I don't think the Dems thought past the two extra senators. No, dude, how many how many times do they think that much past anything what they actually want, right? Thank you, Mr. Tarrant. It's like they're thinking of stacking the Supreme Court in their favor, and they don't think past that, right? So. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Uh, 
Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Chip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Oh, he's not talking to me. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area Poor is girl. not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning. I know, warning, right? Miss. A final warning. Now get up. So that's how it goes, right? Uh, see if a Republican intends to do exactly what the Democrats are doing. Everyone melts down. I know, right? Out of my sight. Oh, interesting. He's putting something away. In that drawer, locking it. And it's locked. Oh, shit. Did you hear Trump's homelessness solution? I no, I did not. I've not been paying that much attention to him because he keeps he keeps trying to get into petty slap fights with DeSantis, and it's it, it's just making him look weak, man. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall, top secret, extremely confidential, very interesting. None of you can arrest uh, people for simply not having them. No, but you can arrest people for public indecency. You can arrest people for public defecation. Things like that. You know, things that uh, uh, many blue cities have essentially decriminalized because uh, uh, they want to pretend to be uh, compassionate. So, yeah, no. The act of just arresting them just for not having a home, no. But, uh... Public indecencies used to be a thing back in the day, where at least you could uh, 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 detain somebody for shedding in the streets. So, yeah. Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think, gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. Oh, no. Yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. It's taking out a city I bank is, is, is just the quickest way to get shot. Come on. Come on, guys. I love how they don't ever think of actually, here, let's offer a service. Let's money. do something that, right. no, no. Let's just try and Get steal, in. or let's try and rob and kill. And it's like, it's, gosh, uh, come on, guys. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. 
He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying mm. officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? Everything is know. almost exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> oh shit, my controller just died. Thankfully though. Thankfully I've got a battery already ready to go. Um, he came out the other day saying he plans on setting up camp cities with government, doctors, and so on. But he then said they will be given the option. And if not... Hold on. And if not, they'll be arrested to be brought there. Again... Like, it... it that... I think that kind of depends on the situation. Because a lot of... Because... A big portion of the homeless population are, like, people who are transitorily homeless, right? They're homeless for, like, a couple months while they're, you know, maybe they they got down on the luck, maybe they had, they got fired from the job, things like that, right? Um, whereas there are some people who are perpetually homeless normally due to drug problems and things like that, and those people are generally the types of people who would go out shit in the streets, things like that. And so people like that, you could potentially go on enforcement re rehab or, or, you know, arrest them for the public indecency and things like that and give them the option of rehab and other options like that. It's evil. It is. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. No, it cannot. Any great idea about the part where it's forced? Again, <laughs> when you're breaking the law, such as shitting in the streets or, you know, something like that, uh, you get put in jail by force. When you give them the option of you can either do that or you can go to rehab or things like that. There's other options, you know, so. Th well, that's what I'm saying, is that the people who don't break the law, the people who are homeless but don't break the law will be left alone. The people who are perpetual and do break the law, they would then be have to be remanded and taken away. Generally, the people who are homeless and are, like, just trying to survive, they're generally the people who are trying to take advantage of uh, 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 you know, job programs and uh, shelters and things like that. They're not the people who are generally going to be out shitting in the streets or out harassing people or breaking into people's cars or stealing things and things like that. Well, I'm Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. I don't know what New York's tried, but I know that New York has tried things like making uh you know those uh you know those grates uh th th i don't know exactly what they were but they they almost looked like benches but they're essentially grates where vents c come up and they were finding that the homeless a bunch of homeless people were sleeping on them and so their solution was like well let's make it really uncomfortable and have these like spikes go up and that's how we'll deal with the homelessness and i'm like that's not gonna do anything they instead just sleep on the ground next to the thing i mean you're a fine yeah. man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Again, how, how do the crazies remain on the streets and the perfectly normal have their constitution, you know, their constitutional rights violated when the normals are not breaking the law? Unless, essentially... 
the government was very shittily handling the law, which happens. It happens regularly. So I, I, I don't disagree with that. Shit like that does happen where, you know, but I mean, the, the biggest issue right now is that you have a lot of places that are essentially doing this catch and release nonsense. Where, you know, they catch criminals in the act of doing stuff that's like felonies and then they mark it down to like change it from a felony to a misdemeanor and then suddenly you're getting people who are left, you know, who are let to go when they should actually be in prison or they should actually be, uh, you know, put into psychiatric help or something like that, so. Hey, mister, that's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson's. All right. Sure, let's do it. Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. Wait, how's this working? Oh, she's going all right. Okay. Ma'am, I stopped to let you catch up because I didn't know if we were starting yet. ma'am as I am in the lead regardless of you cutting me off That's my boy. sorry I'll read your I'll read your comment in a second I did not lose the race. That's some bullshit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, you beauty. That's how you do it, girl. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Game. You piece of shit. Be safe out there. Damn. You won that fair and square. Even though I did want it, but whatever. Mark my words. <laughs> yep. NYPD, NY, being NYPD abuse that or yeah, no, I believe that. That's true. Cops have done that in the past and probably will. Yeah, and that's and that's why what I was saying was you essentially have to be caught breaking the law. You know, you have to actually be caught doing something, not just, are you thought to be homeless? That's not good. That's a pretty shitty way of actually doing that, right? So it sounds like they were doing not what I was saying. It sounds like they were doing other shit. Which is a common, a common thread. In uh, in New York, they're they're doing a lot of dumb shit. Yep. And New York New York's got a much bigger problem than just the homelessness problem. New York New York's got such a giant giant crime problem right now. I mean, they're they're literally letting out people who are committing felonies, and they're constantly dropping the charges to misdemeanors. But then when it comes to Trump, they're going to try and increase a misdemeanor to a felony based on nothing. Nothing but an intention to try and get Trump. That's not how the law is supposed to work. You're not supposed to find a crime for somebody that you don't like. You're supposed to see a crime and then figure out who did it. Not the other way around. Not find somebody and then try and figure out what crime they committed. You know, that's not how this works. So... And that's what I'm saying. A crime has to be committed. You can't go out of your way to try and stop homeless people. You essentially have to go, is there a crime? Good. 
Great. Is the crime committed because somebody's homeless? Okay, cool. Then we have to essentially create some sort of remediation in that case. I'm not saying go out and just randomly find homeless people and just, you know, round them up like what Eric Adams is doing. That's pretty retarded. So... Okay, so we got some sort of non-stranger stranger mission up here. Oh, uh, okay. And then there's Trelawney. Yeah. New York isn't, yes, 100%. So why, <laughs> this is why I questioned, why are you still there, dude? Because I mean, just the shit that's going on up there. I assume you're in upstate New York, right? You're actually not like New York City. But actually, like, in upstate New York, so at least away from the, the, the city of madness that is New York. Because even if the evaluation determines that you are just fine and not homeless, they still violate. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I'm far away from New York City. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. Howdy. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Yup. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least, sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. What? Uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. Yep. And those treaties were broken. Yep. And we've been moved and punished and... Punished and moved. I'm sure. Thanks, Andrew Jackson. Now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace yep. treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. We hey, a little stronger. Viperate, how's it going, man? And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some no more war. Who yeah. were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall yeah, yeah, and the exactly, state government right. claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very Cry sorry. Cry about it, I'll wait 250 years. <laughs> I'm a working man, I got problems. Not about. wrong on that. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. I do remember this. I remember doing like this mission. You. My time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Yep. Come along. 
Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Hmm. How's your night going, little Viperite? Hope you're doing well. What you're not to, man? Okay, so am I doing this right now, or do I have to wait? I think I have to wait. Because I don't, I don't see their mission at all. And we got a stranger mission right here, so I think I'm going to go and go ahead and do that quickly. I always like to do those first before uh, I allow too much time to pass, because I may unfortunately miss the opportunity to play said mission, so. Day was good. Nice. Glad to hear it. Night was good as well. Very nice. It was nice when you can have both a good night and a good day all in one go. Hopefully all in one go. Imagine we kick them off, destroy their way of life uh, for that oil, uh, only for 200 years later to be completely abandoned those fields to go green. I know, right? Yup. Just a. Uh... Yeah. Just a shit show, really. Sorry, man. Um. Why is the audio okay. not working? What the like hell? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is. <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. Yeah, majority were not, but now, in this case, they are, right? In, in this story, they are. They is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. Dude, really? At least keep the fan to cover your face, dude. Civilization! So aggressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. That's true. Keep up, keep up. Allez, allez, vite. Allons-y. Yeah, well, it wasn't a thing until the damn near 1900s, yeah. We are away. Come now, follow me. Those fellas, you, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Oh, gosh. Come on, my fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey! We go through here. What's this? Quickly! Oh gosh, no. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, it's nothing. Um, I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. <laughs> Okay, moving. Come on. Well, uh, please do not do that again. <laughs> Mister? So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. The new kinds of... The whole in affairs. We go through there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep, run away. This way, to the end of the docks. Yeah, no, I mean, the whole reservation system was set up 
around the time of Andrew Jackson. That's what I was. That's why I said earlier, thanks Andrew Jackson, because he's the one who went literally went back on a whole bunch of treaties. This guy sounds like a modern artist. Is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth. Dirty truth. That is something that matters. Oh, well, he's good. Look at you, pretty little thing. Woo! I know, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. Chatterbox son of a bitch kept pestering me while I drank, so I knocked his teeth out. Like that. Yeah, that don't surprise me. I no. hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. well good luck to all of you. Relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, gosh, I forgot his name. But he was doing, yeah, he was doing that because he was trying to get out of the military and get out of the war. Yeah. Yeah, because th there was a dude, there's a guy who was constantly trying to, oh gosh, what the, what the hell, dude? Damn you for punch. Hold on, oh my gosh, knife man. You dumb son of a bitch. No, we're gonna we're gonna go knife for knife. Get up! Come on. You're not the only one who has a knife. Oh! Well, thank you. Where the hell's my hat? Yeah, clinger. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. He was looking for uh, uh, an insanity discharge. Yep, correct. Yeah, <laughs> now that's a knife. Merci, mon ami. How's it going, Jupiter? Hope you're doing well. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, uh, yes. I hear there. The light is... No, exactly. It was to get out. Yeah, exactly. Au revoir. Yeah, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. I'm having a great night. We are in the Saint Denis portion of... Uh, of uh, oh, shit. I'm wanted. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Um, I can't exactly swim for very long, so this is not exactly the best place for me to be. Oh my gosh. This is what I get for pulling out the knife and stabbing the guy. Let's focus, focus on them. Focus on the boat. Don't go. Shit, they're looking. He's going back, and the other guy's on the boat. Oh shit, he's coming back. And yeah, you're right, MASH wasn't real, but I, I would assume that MASH got that idea from at least one story of somebody trying that themselves, right? Man, 
at this point, I'm just kind of stuck here. I need them to move out the damn way. I prefer not to get into a big shootout. It was a commentary on the the Korean. Was it the Korean War or the Viet? Because I thought it was. So it's set in during the Korean War, right? That's what I thought it was. But you're saying it's a commentary on the Vietnam War, which makes sense, right? Because that's when that's when the show came out. Yeah, it's it's set during the Korean War, but when the show actually came out, it was during the Vietnam War. Oh gosh, and golly. Get fuck crying out loud. Swim, Arthur, swim. I remember my dad would uh, come home from work and watch MASH too. I remember, I used to watch MASH as a kid growing up. Run away, run away. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. All because I was trying to defend myself against some jackass. Anyway, uh... I think the finale of MASH had, like, one of the highest watch counts in history. That's, that's cool. I didn't know that. Come on, horse. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Run away. Run away. Goodbye. Oh, gosh. My horse just got hit, I think. Uh, the sensibilities and commentaries are were all Vietnam. Okay. Whether someone tried that in particular or not, who knows, but someone definitely did something insane to get out of the draft uh, whether World War II, Korea, or Vietnam. Maybe, I don't know. Makes sense uh, that you would have a, a high watch count. It's uh, very much in the popular culture and the ba Yeah, that's true. And the baby boomer. Yep. Very true. I should probably not have ran right past the damn, uh, whatchamacallit, police station. Oh Sucks on Netflix removed. Did they remove it? Really? Really? Wow, okay. Why'd they remove it? Oh my gosh. Let's, let's try not to get shot as we're running away. All for a $5 bounty. Oh my gosh. Ow, damn it. Come on, horse. You gotta make this jump. Yes! Good job, horse. Good job. Ow. Yeah, look at Hall. I mean, Nixon was promising to get us out of the Vietnam War, netted him every state uh, but Minnesota. Really? Wow, I did not know that. I've not paid that much attention to the previous presidential elections, but that's actually really interesting. That is where you watched a lot. I'm sorry, horse. I really am sorry, horse. Netflix always cycles uh, through things they remove and add, but uh, so far, MASH hasn't been added. As it has not been added back yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We finally made it out of out of the the, the search circle. Holy crap! Okay, let's let the wanted go down, and then we'll go pay off, pay off that $5 bounty, because reasons, and then, uh, yeah. I feel bad for- I know, right? I feel bad for the horse. We'll take him to the stables afterwards and get him- get him taken care of, because, man, that was- that was a bit of a rough escape for him. Poor thing.
Here, have 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 a nice have a nice mushroom, boy. I know, right? Crashing into the fence. Uh, which, of course, was Kennedy and Johnson's war. Yup. Yup, 100%. Yeah. If you go now, hope it's been four years now. It doesn't seem like they'll ever add it back. Is it available? I, I, like, is it available on another service? Because I would, I would not be too surprised if, if, because, like, I've, like, I've been looking for South Park. It used to be on Hulu, then they removed it. And that's largely because they've been, it's been added to, I think, Paramount Plus, I think is where it is right now. And it's going to be there for about another year or so before it then goes to, I think, another streaming service. So maybe, maybe like a, a, a streaming service has, you know, actually bought the rights to it in perpetuity, or at least for, maybe not in perpetuity, but like for a number of years, and so now it's going to be on that streaming service for some time, so I don't know. That's actually a good point. Yeah, go to your library, because they, they will generally have stuff like that regularly. You're not wrong. And then you can potentially, if if you've got the right software or the right hardware, even you can you can copy those to your own discs and then not have to deal with it. And particularly for certain shows, at this point, it might be a better idea to just have the uh, you know have the physical copy rather than the media because I mean you look at it's always sunny. They've removed the episodes with uh, Sweet D when she's doing her characters, right? And some of her characters are, like, Latino, and so she, like, literally does, like, brown face or black face or whatever the hell they're calling it. And so they're like, nope. We're not, we're removing this episode because it's now culturally insensitive or some some such nonsense like that, when clearly it's to mock a failing actress who thinks it's a good idea to do that sort of shit. So, yeah. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, if it's been removed from iTunes, but I know it's been removed from, like, streaming services. Like, Hulu removed those episodes, so you can't see those episodes on Hulu. And I would not be too surprised if they decided to do that as well on other on iTunes or something like that. So, but yeah, Little Viper Rights, right? I mean, the library many times will have those types of you know a lot of shows like that available, you know, on disc that you can get. And if uh, if you want a particular thing, ask for it. They can they can get it. They can get most of it. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Very true. Where's the nearest? Shit. Ooh, but there's a mission with Sadie, so we'll go and do that next. Well, we'll 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 give the horse just some something more to eat. Give him some raspberries or something. The Little House on the Prairie is, uh, what you went to the library for, amazing show. It was an amazing show. I remember that show. Such a great show from, again, not just your childhood, for a lot of people here. So, yeah, I grew up with that show as well. It's the Gavin guy. He used to be here. <laughs> oh, that sneeze. I remember the eldest daughter going blind was so sad. Yep, I remember that too. Wasn't there, wasn't it like, it was like the, uh, the eldest daughter goes blind and I think like the youngest kid dies as well. Like they, they had like a tragic upbringing, which is, let's be honest, pretty much true, uh, 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 true to like sort of the failure history of that time. There were a lot of families who had, like, you know, six or seven kids, and, like, half of them would die, you know, before the age of ten, you know, so. Yeah, exactly, they, they try to portray life as it really was. I watched a lot of bug shows. Like, you mean as in, like, bug-oriented cartoon shows, or, you, uh, or like, superhero shows, or are you talking about, uh, are you talking about, like, uh, like, Shows are about animals and in particular bugs, because I'm sure. Just shows about okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
indeed. The show's about bugs. There, there was a lot of shows about animals and things like that, so... I believe it. On public TV? Yup. <laughs> That's where most of those shows, shows were, right? They were on, uh... PBS, public television. But they were... I mean, they were always interesting, right? We only got four channels growing up. When I was growing up, I think we had... We had more. When I was growing up, we had more, but it wasn't like a lot more. Uh, we had like ABC, NBC, CBS. Um, and then we had like, t we had actually, if I remember correctly, we had two. That's because we had like the regular sort of like national PBS channel. And then we had a locally run PBS channel that was like uh, from one of the local universities. And then we had... Fox, and then we had this like this this local station that had like a whole bunch of reruns of shows, that, and it was called K Jazz because here in Utah we have uh, we have uh, the Utah Jazz is our NBA team, and so one of the one of the channels was called K Jazz, and they would show uh, the NBA games for the Utah Jazz on that channel, but they'd also have a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, PBS, ABC, CBS, NBC. That's what we had here too. But then we also had, as I said. Um, Fox, and we also had uh, a, a local a local channel as well that that essentially syndicated out or, or somehow got the rights to uh, 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 to to broadcast certain reruns of shows that we'd see like older shows like Mash. We'd see Mash on this channel, things like that. Um, and then uh, and then I remember later on when I was in high school, they added uh, another channel which was like the CW. You know, and that was that was kind of interesting to, when they added that in because there was a lot of like cartoon shows, like the cartoon shows used to be on like ABC and NBC and uh, Fox, and then as I got older, they started moving away from doing those shows. But then that CW uh, network started doing the the animated stuff there when I was in like high school, and then just later, there's like everybody just stopped. They stopped doing. Whatever the hell screaming like that could... Yeah, please stop, please. Yeah. Interesting times. And now there's like... And now you can get cable and sling and whatnot and get hundreds of channels and all of them have absolute shit on them, so... Kinda wish... Kinda wish you'd be, uh... More along the lines of, uh, less channels. Uh, there was one episode on the... Uh, where the father breaks his leg from the stone, from a stone weak falling. A stone weak? What is it? Oh, a stone wheel, I see. And for like three episodes, it was like, he's gonna die. He barely survived. Yep. Yeah, man. Back then. Back then, it was kind of crazy. Oh, man, I can't even imagine living in a log house. Yeah. That's actually kind of funny. Um, There was a... Before we ended up buying... Not this house, but the previous house that I was in. Um, uh, there was a log house here, and Jupiter, you'll you'll kind of know you'll kind of know because where I am right now, just down the street from where I am, uh, there was a log house that was actually uh, available to buy, and we when we were looking for a new house, uh, that was one of the houses we were looking at. It was actually kind of interesting, so, and it was literally a full-on log cabin. Um, but it had a relatively big piece of land, but it was small and, like, rectangular. It was, it was skinny and rectangular, right? It was long, but skinny and rectangular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it used to be. It's, it's, it's grown quite a bit, to be honest. It's getting a little, uh, ridiculous, actually, with how much it's, uh, grown. Which is funny, too, because when I was in high school, we moved, we moved down to... To Draper, which back then it was super farmy as well. And again, moved moved away from that. You know, just got very developed, and a lot of that farmland went away. My favorite episode was the Blizzard in 1899, the same Blizzard that starts this game off. Really? Well, that's cool. I didn't even realize that they that the uh, show was that close to 1899. That's cool. Here is there. Uh... Oh. Uh. No, 
No, that's dead eye. Come on, I'm looking for. Energy. Whatever, we're gonna contribute some stuff here. Yeah, I know, right? The CW? Yeah, exactly. Yep. I, re I remember when that was a brand new channel, man, and, and it was it was cool at the beginning, right? They had a bunch of interesting stuff, and then uh, the CW went to shit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, man. CW used to be cool back in the day. Over and over again, I'd hear people say that uh, when they were young, they just see f uh, fields and fields. Yep. Dude, I mean, when, when I first came to Utah back in the 90s, I mean, you look at where... You know, Jordan Commons is. You know, I mean, that place, there used to be fields all over the damn place. You know, it used to be like Southtown Mall and then some fields and then, yeah, it's it's crazy just how much everything's actually grown up. Oh, my spirits couldn't be higher. And we're going to contribute some items as well. Belt buckle. Halo TV show belongs on the CW. Yes. Yes, a hundred percent. Oh gosh. Yeah, it is it is horrible. And let's not pretend otherwise. The official story took place between 1870 and 1894, but the show does take some liberties. As as per usual, I mean but at least back in those days, they at least tried to keep it relatively close to the books, right? I mean, I look at... I mean, you look at how, like, the liberties, as the Halo show did, they took so many liberties with that show. It's it's actually insane. Because the Halo, like, the Halo show is nothing like Halo. Absolutely nothing, and it's extremely sad that they did what they did for Halo. So, makes me sad. Um, yep. I'll get a new, I'll get a new area. Lodging has been upgraded, a fast travel map, and additional grooming supplies are now available. You can now also fast travel from your personal camp. Ooh, that's cool. And you know what, screw it, we're, we're gonna just upgrade everything. Yeah, still mostly accurate. More Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little house on the prairie is set in Walnut Grove, Minnesota, which is like forty miles away. Really, that's that's actually awesome. And it's it's based on like a famous book series, isn't it? I want to say this. That's the case. Little house on the prairie. Little house on the prairie. Uh, here's the TV series, and then Little House on the Prairie, aka Little House: A New Beginning in its ninth and final season, is an American Western historical television drama series about the Ingalls who live on a farm in Plum Creek near Walnut Grove, Minnesota. Uh, in the 1870s to 1890s, Charles, Laura, Caroline, Mary, and Carrie Ingalls are respectively portrayed by Michael Landon, Melissa Gilbert. Also, Michael Landon, I think he was on uh, Bonanza? Yeah, he was. Bonanza, Little House on the Prairie, Highway to Heaven. Um, bunch of, like, nice old shows. Uh, yeah, yeah, the show is an adaptation of Laura Ingram Wilder's best-selling series of Little House books. Which, I didn't realize Laura Ingram, holy crap, she's a real person, which means these are semi-autobiographical. Holy crap, I didn't know that. But if you look at the area, they use the terrain from South Dakota. Oh, interesting. It's based on a real story. Yeah, crazy. Y'all gonna make me buy the entire... Yes, dude, it's only 50 bucks. Dude, if... buy it. If you can get it, buy it, dude. The Little House on the Prairie books comprise a series of American children's novels written by Laura 
Ingalls Wilder, aka the main character from the damn show. The stories are based on her childhood and adolescence in the American Midwest, Wisconsin, Kansas, Minnesota, South Dakota, and Missouri. Between 1870 and 1894, eight of the novels were completed by Wilder and published by Harper and Brothers in the 1930s and 40s during her lifetime. The name Little House appears in the first and third novels in the series, while the third is identical title Little House on the Prairie. The second... Uh, did I read that correctly? The name Little House appears in the first and third novels in the series, while the third is identical, identically titled Little House on the Prairie. The second novel, meanwhile, was about her husband's childhood. Cool, cool. The first draft of the ninth novel was published uh, after her death in 1971 and is commonly included in the series. The tenth book of the nonfiction On the Way Home is Laura Engel Weiler's Diary of the years after 19, 1894, when she, her husband, and their daughter moved from uh, DeSmet, South Dakota, to Mansfield, Missouri, where they settled permanently. It is also published uh, after her death in 1962 and includes commentary by her daughter, Rose Wilder Lane. The more you know. Holy crap. Uh, my mom made me read it before showing me the TV show, which is why I know it's based on reality. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's very cool. I know that was that was also something that like, uh, particularly like with the hair in, and I know Harry Potter's not real. I get it, but uh, that was something that my parents st certainly tried to get me to do before we before we went to go and watch the Harry Potter movies. They wanted me to read the books because they wanted me to get familiar with reading and things like that. So, yeah, the the Demet, South Dakota Desmond. Am I saying that correctly? Desmond, South Dakota is pretty desolate. Really? Oh, wow. Which makes me question why they were there. Yeah, that's crazy. Makes sense as to why they would then move away. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> okay. Good to know. So it's gonna start pulling from my from my cash now, but I'd rather do that. Just rough out there, really, really. Like when you say desolate, like how bad desolate? Because that would be kind of interesting. Back in the 1870s, uh, it was during those days of the frontier, people thought these towns would become cities. Yeah. It is kind of interesting to think about, like, which which cities people thought were going to be huge and which cities ended up being just pretty straightforward, right? You know, or s small towns that either... Didn't really become much more, or, you know, whatever. Most of the cities were formed by the railroad. Also true. Yeah, that's true. In fact, you'd see how, like, certain cities had cropped up before the railroad had gotten to them. And then the railroad essentially diverted, diverted away because it was just easier to build a certain way. And then those cities ended up essentially becoming ghost towns. And yeah, coal as well. Yeah, yeah. The They needed, they needed to fill locomotives with water and coal. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, the railroad doomed many towns. Yep. Very true. And I think we have restocked. Um, or not restocked, but I think we've bought now all the upgrades for the camp. Which is cool. And then I think I'll just donate uh, like a hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, we'll give money. Uh, my town was formed in eight, 1899 as a train stop. Really? Uh, the building of those railroads is an entire interesting saga in history in and of itself. Yep. Hell, my house is built by a guy who founded the next town. Really? That's actually super cool. Yeah, that's amazing. 
it's always interesting to, to to hear like the history of different areas and different regions and like how it's grown, particularly in like the Midwest, because you're right. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of those cities are determined by the placement of the railroad and like how the railroad grew from, you know, from where it started to where it ended up going in, in the Midwest. So, yeah. Very cool, in my opinion, but also like, yeah, a lot of cool history. Yeah, we are the sixth owners. Uh, I have the complete abstract with uh, U.S. Grant's uh, land stamp. Really? That's so cool. The original abstract. That's awesome. I guess my town is ancient for American standards. A lot of the British were here. Wait. Yep. Yep. No, I mean, yeah, dude. <laughs> the more east you go, the, the more history you have in those towns, right? Because, again, history in the United States essentially really started in... Uh, you know, 1600s when during the original colonization and you've got all that other stuff they are actual stamps really that's that's awesome but yeah as 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 things move on past that time frame you know uh yeah you start building out more and more west. So the more west you go, really, the younger the area is. So, fifteen thirties, yeah, that's interesting. That's cool. That's very cool. History of New York started with uh, the Dutch, actually. Yep, also true. Saint Augustine. Well, oh, is that the is that the city? That's cool. Is he talking about Jenny? Maybe. Or maybe he just feels guilty about Jenny. I've been there. Nice. Very cool. Oh, there's Sadie. So let's talk to Sadie. Let's let's get her mission going. Howdy. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. I've seen this part. Yeah. You know. And now you and Doug kind of joined high oh, society. Oh, oh. oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish <laughs> there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh no. That's right. What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Adriscoll boys! This is the Adriscoll's. Yep. Thank you for giving me my rifle. Holy shit. I was waiting for this to happen. I love the Springfield rifle. Such a cool gun. Dude, I'm helping already. I'm. Oh gosh. Yep. Get 
You're right, you're not leaving the swamp, that's for sure. Sadie. I'll take it. Why didn't you get inside? I miss all this. Come on. Come on, Come on, on Sadie. Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Sander. Oh, no, they don't. Show Mr. O'Driscoll on the radar. Goodbye. You are not getting that boat any closer, son. Ow, son of a bitch. Yeah, no shit, Sadie. Nice, Charles. Been better. Cowards! We okay? I think so. So let's see. Except for Karen here. Let's count the deaths, uh, shall we? Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy? Sean is dead. Someplace near, but not too near. Of course. Karen? Charles, help me with the body. We need to get Who this else? place clean. I know Jenny died, Mr. but that's before the game. We never met her. Already taken care of it. Come on now. What? Somebody else had died. Colm O'Driscoll. <laughs> An 1899 John Wick movie. Hell yeah. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me. Near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> Gotta hit the hay. Good night, y'all. Hey, have a great night, Jupiter. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Have a wonderful night, man. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Yep. Yeah, man, have a great night.
sorry. I should go focus on my devotionals. Hola. Hello, Javier. And the saddest thing is that I'm pretty sure Sadie. I don't know. If, I know Sadie survives to like the epilogue. I don't know if she makes it past Arthur, there. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can. He was such a gentle soul. He was. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. I can tell you something you missed already? Yeah, if I've missed it already, yeah. What did I miss? What else have I missed? But yeah, go ahead. Tell me. Hit me. Well, let's head out. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we got uh, Josiah Tr Trelawney and Dutch Vandalin. And I do notice there was a... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There was a, 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 a camp activity here. I was not expecting it to disappear. Well, get what did I miss, though? Tell me. Oh, come on, man. I'm waiting. <laughs> Micah killed young Jack Marston's dog. It's a very rare dialogue line, and if you manage to activate it in gameplay, you will find Jack looking for his dog elsewhere. Well, Micah Im implied to Arthur he was responsible. Really? Really? I didn't know that. Oh, my gosh. But I mean, I don't think I need another reason to hate Micah. Micah's just such a jackass, man. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan. Like the game They've done such a wonderful job of actually setting him up as a bad guy. They really have. Like he's clearly just such a big giant piece of crap, you know? So, uh they they've 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 written him very well in terms of him being just, you know. Just a giant jackass, you know? And yeah, Jack, poor boy, was crying, uh, looking for his dog. I missed that. Was that like, uh, was that like back at the first camp site? Because that would actually make a lot of sense. Okay, we're gonna go up, up north and we're gonna go check out that uh, mission with the uh, Native Americans and they're wanting us to go and deal with the oil guys or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I remember doing this mission. I just don't remember exactly what we're after. I believe it was the third campsite. Oh, okay. Yeah, the third campsite, I don't remember doing a lot in that third campsite. Uh, I tried to do some of the activities there, but I didn't spend a lot of time there talking to people. If that makes sense. So. Who the hell did you rob for all this? Hey, you ask no questions, I tell no lies. Hmm. That's all yours. That's the only problem with this game you can miss. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't call it a problem. I, I call that an opportunity for replayability. What we agreed on. Good man. Well, you keep on doing what you do best. We you need more. Just come along back. Take care, fellas. Goodbye.
Oh, I shot your hat off. Hell yeah. Goodbye. Yep. Ooh, a gold pocket watch. Hell yeah. I do love these little interactions too. Like just just the different things you you can find, different people and like what they're actually up to. Very cool things. Cause you're, I mean, to your point, like there's there's so much that you can miss. Not just dialogue, but like interactions and and random events and things like that. Like, so many different things that can happen in the game. And there's a lot of stuff that you can miss. And that's... And you're right. You know, there's there's a lot of opportunities to miss stuff. But that also means there's a lot of opportunities to go back and replay the game. And see the stuff that you missed. Because, I mean, even playing this uh, on stream, there's a lot of stuff that I've missed. That I've got now a chance to experience because I played the game, you know? Because I'm now playing it again. Is what I should say. Now I'm taking this because I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to the uh, up to the wagon fence because I know it's it's on the way and I know I can get some cash for this. So we're gonna head up to the wagon fence, make some money off of this, and then we can go do that. Actually, I can't go and do that mission. We'll we'll take this up to the wagon fence and I may have to call it there. Sir, sir, could you? Don't say what in hell. You turn into me, jackass. I keep forgetting I started late tonight. To which I am sorry, fellas. Uh, unfortunately, just the, the the way my night ended up going, I, I started later than I should have. And let's be honest, uh, <laughs> I spent a little bit of time in, in a buddy's stream before, before my stream. And maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. But I, w I wanted to go say hi and, and hang out for with, with Magus. He's, he's a cool guy. It's always nice checking, checking out his stream. And he was, he was playing, uh, he was playing some more Red Dead, not Red Dead, Resident Evil 4 Remake. And he's playing it again. Um, but in the, I think he's doing like a new game mode, new game plus or something like that. But he's playing with mods and things like that. So, yeah. Indeed it is now 420. Yep, this is true. It's uh, past midnight for me here, so I know you're you're in the future a couple of hours. But yes, it is now 420. Blazing it. Yep. Today is St. Patrick's Day for Stoners. Yep. <laughs> that is accurate. You get it so beat up. Here, pleasure. Well, thank you kindly. Yeah, I get it so beat up just because some 
jackass turned into me. Oh well. Oh well. It's a good place to end it there, though. So yeah, guys, we're gonna call it there. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. I I've had a fun night tonight. Uh, a little bit more chill. We didn't do as many missions, but uh, we got to hang out and chat and talk about a bunch of different stuff. So thank you guys all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Big thanks to everybody that's been here in the chat. Uh, Gib Javelin, Little Viperite, um, Jupiter X One Nineteen, uh, the Nunu. New -new. Uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful evening, sir, and you too as well, Gib Javelin. Really do appreciate you hanging out, keeping me company. Um, we are gonna raid somebody. Let me, let me see if somebody is actually live right now. But, um, I'm sure there is, but let me, let me just hop back here. You know what, there really isn't anybody that I, no that I would normally raid. There's not a lot of people still in the chat, so I think we're just, I th we're just gonna unfortunately call it there, so. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you guys aren't already, please consider hitting that follow button. And if you guys would like to see when I go live, Twitter, Discord, and the Gilded are the three best places for it. Please go check those places out. Uh, the links are in the chat as well as down below. And if you guys have missed out on any of the streams, you can go check out the YouTube channel. I try to get those up as soon as possible. And particularly when it comes to the story games, definitely uh, within the week, they're up and available there. So jo go, go check those out, please. And if you if you've missed out on any of the streams, particularly Red Dead or Hellblade Center with Sacrifice, or Dragon Age Origins, or any of that stuff, go check those out. So anyway, guys, have a wonderful night. I'll be back. Um, I'm really I, I might add in a couple of extra streams during the week just for kicks and giggles. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I might I might start doing just a just a fun little uh, game development stream tomorrow night or Friday night, depending on what I end up deciding to do, and, uh, yeah, so, I might be back tomorrow, I might be back on Friday night, but definitely Sunday for sure, we'll be back, we'll be playing some games and hanging out, and hopefully I will see you guys then, but until then, this is Green Leader, signing out.